Okay, the video I'm about to show you is how to fix a Samsung LCD television that has a blown electrolytical capacitor um, that usually causes it not to turn on. Sometimes it might cause it to run for a little bit and then turn off or turn on after trying a really long time. Um, mine just simply wouldn't turn on. Even though there was a little red light down in the corner showing that it was getting power, it wouldn't turn on. So after a little bit of Googling the situation and watching a couple YouTube videos, I discovered it's gonna cost me about $1.40 to fix the TV. So went ahead and learned how to solder and I was able to fix it. So a couple things you wanna be sure of is that you don't have the television plugged in when you're working on it. That's a really bad idea. And you also want to be careful of what they call residual power. There could still be some power in that circuit board, so you just want to handle it very carefully and I'll kind of point some of that stuff out to you, but definitely do some of your own research so you can get a little bit of a better handle on it before you dive in, but it doesn't take too much to fix these things. It also helps if you have somebody there helping you. Um, I had my trusty assistant Sam here to help me, so um, just helps to have an extra pair of hands for a couple of the different things you've got to do, but hope this helps. Yeah, if you have any other questions, definitely ask it down in the uh, comment section. I'll try to help you out, but good and luck. The first thing you want to do is look where all the screws go. They're kind of deep, so you're going to need a long screwdriver. Um, there's quite a few of them too, so if, you sna or if you're snagging it whenever you're trying to take it off, Probably just need to look around a little bit more. But a bunch of little ones here around the corner. That's your first step. All right, once you have all the screws taken out, this thing should lift off pretty easily. And there's the inside of your TV. And the way you can tell if you have a blown capacitor. One second. Well, you can tell. One second. Assistant Sam. Thanks. <laughs> is you'll notice it'll be kind of like a little where is it a little hump there's not these things are supposed to be completely flat so you can kind of see on this camera maybe um, but basically that's a blown capacitor right there you got quite a few of them none of the rest on mine seem to be blown um, next thing you want to really notice on your power board is the sides that say cold and sides that say hot. And you've got this white line that goes all the way around that. You could have residual power in here, so you might end up shocking yourself if you hit the wrong thing. But my capacitor is on the cold side, right there's where it says cold. So I don't have too much to worry about. You just want to be careful whenever you're handling these. Okay, if you notice on your power board, you're going to have four screws on here. It's not too many, but you do have a bunch of little devices here that are hooked up to something else. Um, these are supposed to just snap off. Um, if you want to, just for precautions in case you can't remember where they go afterwards, you might want to take a picture of it before you undo those. And that way you can always use that to refer back to. But start unplugging these guys. Flips up just like that. There's the bottom. There's the front. So the next step, what we're gonna do is take this busted capacitor. You can see the two little dots right here. We're gonna desolder that. Just pull it through and then reattach it. So one thing that you do want to pay attention to is which side the negative side is pointing to or whatever side it's marked on the capacitor. Sometimes they'll only have the positive side marked. But you can see they've got the negative symbol right here. 
and I've got it facing down towards these blue guys and whatnot. So whenever I reattach the new one, I'm gonna face that negative side to those blue doohickeys. So there's the busted one. Alright, so here's the replacement capacitor. It was like a dollar forty at a tech store, so pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna clip these down. Cool. And it's got the same markings for the negative side, so know which way to put this guy in. Trim it down just a little bit more. Not be soldering for us yet. But you don't have to. Bad employees are on there. Cool. That should be the hardest part. Now we just gotta connect it all back together. Cool. Now I'm just going to get a power cable. Try it out. Alright, so now we've got power because we have the little red thing there. That was there before already and it just wouldn't come on. Um, so, I'm going to try to turn this bad boy on. And <laughs> I heard the noise. There it is. It worked. And it's on. That's all you gotta do to fix your Samsung LCD or whatever LCD.